Um, this is a very rudimentary beginning. Um, so uh, what are some of the things that I probably would want to do uh, with a church contact database? Well, I think maybe I'd want to know the last time they came to church. Um, I would want to know, uh, maybe I would even start getting involved in what was their attendance habits. Do they only come on Sundays, you know? Um, do they come every other Sunday? Uh, uh, when's the last time I visited them? What, what are some of the notes I may have taken as far as when I visited them? Um, there's lots of things that I may want to keep track of in my database uh, of contacts in here. Uh, so um, this, ta this table is not going to be enough. This table is so truly not going to be enough, but it's a good start. And uh, let's just go from there. So the next thing I think I'm going to want is maybe an attendance table. So I'll go back to create and I'll go back to design. And um, in this attendance table, this is a tough one because uh, I'm going to have multiple people attending multiple days of church, right? Uh, do I want to keep track of every single person and the day that they visited, or do I want to tie them to a day to find out uh, what day they came out? These are the kind of things that you start thinking about when you're building an application like this. If you get to where you want them all to point back to one day and stuff like that and now, now that I'm thinking about it I don't know if I really want to do that um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep a list uh, I'm just going to keep track of every single day that a person came out for every single person so there will only be one table of dates <clears throat> So again, this uh, table should have a um, uh, visit ID. You know, and this brings up a good thing. I did not, na I named that field ID um, in the um, contact database, and I need to change that. So I'm going to go back to my contact database, back to design, and I'm going to put here contact ID. And you're going to find out why I'm doing this. Uh, you're going to find out why I'm doing this in just a minute because when you start dealing with multiple ID values in a database, you need to know what they belong to. And um, I have to tie the identification of this record, which would be this one right here, to an actual date that I'm going to put a date field in here in just a minute of the person that visited. Now in here we just put number. In here, I'll use an ID. This is just a, a convention. Who who knows what's the right way to do this? It's really personal preference, and and uh, because I've been doing this so long and done so many different types of databases, I really don't really have an ID uh, 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 preference as to how I want to put that. So we'll just leave it. But we do want consistency, so we're just going to keep it with two capital letters. This ID is basically just short for identification. So, um, uh, another thing about building stuff like this is having a hard time naming something. And I need a name for the day that they visited. Uh, uh, church date. Now, here's another thing, too, is that People can visit multiple times on a certain day, so they can visit Sunday morning and Sunday evening, and if I want to keep track of when they did that, uh, I'm not just keeping track of the day, I have to also keep track of what type of service it was, right? So um, this is a date, and, and the cool thing about date is you could just do date time. Uh, the real thing is is that I only really want the date in this field. I don't want to keep track of the time. I don't want to keep track of the time in the table, in the, in the uh, forms and all that stuff. I just want to put a day in there and that's it. But what I am going to do is I'm going to put a visit type, uh, a service type, right? And this is going to be short text 
but what I can do with this is I can do what's called a lookup, right? 